Okay, we're in Finch Field today and we're walking to Great Bardfield and back to here. It's a five mile walk and Alex is here. Yep. Yep, Alex is back <laughs> and we're doing out of this book again Finch and Field of Great Barfield, five mile walk, it's about two and a half hours. Start point is here at the War Memorial. And there's the Fox Inn pub over there. I've been there before, that's a nice pub. So we'll probably stop there on the way back. It is, it's just gone 10 yep. in the morning. It's an early start for me, <laughs> for this one. And, and Alex as well. He's got the maps on the tablet as well. And the weather looks hmm, looks okay, it's a little bit cloudy, but the sun's coming through. Uh, minimal chance of rain. There's a tea room over there. So, yeah, we're going to make a start. And depending on the battery life of this camera, I'll speak to you in a bit. It's always the way, whenever you start filming them, they stop moving. Alex again, Dr. Doolittle. The, the, the duck whisperer. It was like the horses on the last one. When you were talking to the horses, the horse whisperer. That's the only way I can get an intelligent conversation with horses, with you. Oh! Actually, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's Alex's input to the, the, the video. <laughs> Cheap remarks. <laughs> right, anyway, that's enough of the, the wildlife. And the geese. Oh! <laughs> right. Carrying on. Let them come to Finchingfield, those who believe that Essex has no picturesque, the setting of Duck Pond, Church and Windmill, you eulogise on a thousand chocolate boxes, draws hundreds on sunny days, but few adventure to nearby Great Bardfield. A shame, for although very different, it's scarcely less good, full to the brim of homes of architectural merit, several date into its medieval days as a market town. This walk links the two by valleys of the infant River Pant and the Finchingfield Brook. So we're just outside Spain's Hall. Uh, the name Spain is the same one uh, of the same person, the same Norman Baron rather, who gave his name to one of the Willingau parishes, which is Willingau Doe and Willingau Spain, where I used to live. And that's also uh, Willingale is also on the Essex Way, which I've done as well. So yeah, same name, and he's got two different houses. Rich bastard. Uh, this is here so far, so good. Yeah. Bit windy. And I'll just zoom in. There's the house. Let's see if we can get some more shots if we go... Okay, more to come. We've just come off of the main road and according to Alex, this bridleway is called Tom's Lane. So as we walk, we're pushing further into Tom's Lane. No pun intended. very true. Okay we're just going through this green lane now just past the spinny. It's a bit windy, the sun's mm, sort of gone in a little bit. We haven't really done a lot of the walk because I've kept stopping taking photographs of everything so we're gonna we're gonna put our foot down a bit and cover some ground. Okay, 
we are nearly at Great Bardfield. This is the River Pant. We just passed a farmer and a tractor that was he was cutting the footpath for us. Just and he, for us. Just for us. He, he did stop and let us pass. I thought he was going to cut our legs off. Um, those massive strimmer arm things on the side of the tractor. Never actually seen them uh, trimming the footpaths before. It, it went through absolutely everything and anything. So I'm glad he stopped. So yeah, this is the river pant. We're just sort of at the, what do you call this? Like where they, is it a weir? Yeah, it's a very small weir, isn't it? It's a small weir. Um, here's the depth gauge thing in these steps. Quite nice to sit here, actually. Um, but yeah, that way is to Great Bardfield. A lot going on there. More to come. Okay, we've just got to Great Bardfield. Really nice little village, this. A lot of history here. There's this old house here. We're outside the Bell Pub at the moment. We're going to stop here. Alex is filming me. And uh, we might even get lunch. Two quarts lunch. Only £9.95. Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, there's, there's quite a bit of history to a Great Bardfield. And what I'm going to try and do is mention some of that along the wall. Will you stop filming me? <laughs> anyway, so childish. Anyway, I think we've earned a drink, so we're going to stop in the bell first. So, more to come. We're still in Great Bardfield. We stopped at the Bell Pub. We was there for a bit. And now we've just found the Vine Pub. And we're going to stop there for a little bit as well. Not that we, you know, keep on going from pub to pub. He's, he's turning into a pub crawl, this one. So, uh, to try and sort of reclaim the credibility of this video, I'm going to read you a bit from the guidebook about the history of the place. Yes, love, I am filming a documentary on Great Bardfield. Yes, we are that sad. She just looked out the window at me, just like, why? <laughs> Okay, Great Bardfield was home to its own art movement in the middle of the last century with a dozen or so artists resident here of whom Edward Balden and Eric Ravilius are perhaps the best known. Balden's lithographs for Penguin, Life in an English Village are an important record of rural life in the 1940s. Modernist but figurative, unlike the contemporaneous St Ives artists, the movement culminated with a series of showings in the artist's homes during the mid and late 1950s. You're riveted, aren't you? <laughs> More recently, Turner Prize winner Grayson Perry, I've seen him on TV, lived here as a young boy and had a newspaper round. There you go. There is a village museum, open weekends and bank holidays on Bridge Street. I don't know if we're passing that. It includes the village lockup known as the cage. That's pretty cool that they used to lock the town drunks up there. Um, we better be careful, we might get locked up there. Anyway, so that's the history of Great Bardfield. There you go. Right, we've earned the right to go in the pub now. Yeah. More to come. We've just left, left Great Bardfield. I bought loads of sandwiches. Loads, uh, of sandwiches. loads of sandwiches. My body weight in sandwiches. Sausage rolls and donuts. <laughs> Massive cheat day, and uh, we've just got to Watermill Cottages or Cottages. There's the old watermill there, it's all derelict now. You can just see the wheel. Put the sandwiches down, I'll zoom in. You can just see there the derelict wheels on the top there. As far as I know, this is. I don't know if it's still the River Pant or we're on the Finch in Field Brook now, but uh, yeah, it's just some people walking across there now. Oh, there's that footpath there. Didn't know there was that one there. Anyway, I think we're meant to be going that way from what I remember. When I've done this walk before, I think we're meant to go that way. So we, we've just gone through here to get to just to get nice views of, of all of this. That's not bad though, having that on your doorstep. Yeah, Quite lovely. nice actually, yeah. Like you could get used to the noise of that water running. Oh, running water's lovely. 
Yeah. Zoom in there. So yeah, we haven't got far to go. We've got probably what, a mile and a half. Yeah. Not far. So yeah, more to come. Oh yeah. Let me zoom in. Yeah, it's not picking them up. Some big fish. You could easily eat them. I do actually have Oh. Probably get in trouble for fishing here though. I suspect so. Ownership. We were just over there taking photos of this bridge. Very, very nice. Very picturesque. It certainly is. Um, right, I think we've got to go through there. Go and grab my hoard of sandwiches and donuts. It's energy. You, sir. Thank you. See, we're practicing the countryside code here. Always close gates behind you. Okay, so, ah, there's the footpath there over that bridge there. Oh, it's a bad wind. Okay. Um, probably not more Oh, there's a horse over there. It's probably not more left to film. So you'll probably see us next at Finchingfield. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be arriving at the church first. So yeah, we'll probably film the church next. And then we're going to pop in the pub, the Fox Inn, before we go home. Okay, stay tuned. This is what's called production value. I've even got scenes of farming life in my videos now. Top that. So this is Finch and Phil Brook. So we're following this for just over a kilometre. Pretty much a straight line, keep it on the right hand side all the way back to Finchingfield. So this is just outside the church in Finchingfield. It's the Guild Hall, which is now a shop and a museum. It's only open on Saturdays and Sundays, 1 till 4 p.m. though, so we're not going to be going in there today. Um, ah, it's St John the Baptist, Finchingfield. There's the church, and turn it back this way. If we head down these steps here, we come out to the street. Motorbike, and aha, here we are. There's the Red Lion pub. It looks like it might be closed at the moment. That pub shut, the Red Lion. It looks like it's shut anyway, they're probably shut for the afternoon, reopen around six-ish. So yeah, so we're walking back down now towards the Duck Pond. It's been a good walk this one. Excellent, the Fox Inn's open. Get in. That's where we're going next. And there's, we're going to leave you with a lovely view of Finchingfield. Field. It's been a good walk. We've, we've taken a long time to do this one. A lot of stopping at pubs and 
me eating and filming. It's all been my fault. I think relaxed is the right word. But it's been relaxed, yeah, to get out the road. Um, so yeah, we'll leave you with this view. Oh, it's on the bike as I turned up. Um, so yeah, it's been a good walk. It was meant to take us two and a half hours. It's taken us, what, five hours? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's got to be a record. Some nice cottages up there. So yeah, we're heading over to the pub, the Fox Inn there. So, uh, Alex, good walk. Yeah, good walk. You'll see us in the next one.